Remember, for any question on geometry that seems difficult, go to the reference chart. They probably give you the formula that you need. Uh, you do need to know what a cylinder looks like, but if you do, when you open that reference chart, it's right there. They give you the formula. There's no real uh, memorization that needs to happen here. So they're giving us the diameter and the height, and they want to know the volume. The, the problem here is the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h, right? So if the diameter is 22, that is not part of the formula. But you do need to know that the radius, the r, is going to be half of the diameter. That is the same rule for cylinders as it is for um, circles. So uh, there you go. Radius is 11. And it kind of shows us this on the picture, right? We can see that the radius is going from the center to the outside, not directly across. So, um, you know, you get a little bit of a reminder there. But uh, if you don't know the difference between a radius and a diameter, then yes, you're going to be in some trouble. Th that's a basic geometry vocabulary situation. Now we just plug points into equations, right? P, P, I, E. So volume is equal to pi times 11 squared. The height, they said, is 6. So volume is pi. If you don't know 11 squared, it's 121. You can always put that in the calculator. Then solve from there. So uh, notice the answer choices too. There's no pi uh, multiplied out, right? It's still a symbol. So we're going to keep it a symbol throughout this whole thing. 121 times 6, I am going to do in my calculator. That is 726. And just for notation reasons, we put the 726 first. And that is choice C. So that's it. Literally, this is plug points into equations. But it's a good reminder that on every question, we kind of are asking ourselves the same thing. Do I have points? Do I have equations? If the answer to either of those is no, it might not be the end of the line, though, for that strategy, right? We might be able to make up the points. In this case, we had to pull the equation out of either our memory or off of that reference chart. So that strategy, plug points and equations, is still very fundamental to the test, but don't get thrown off if you are missing one of those pieces. There might be, it might be something that you need to provide, and then basically we get back to having both. So just remember, too, that the reference chart exists. You do not need to memorize most geometry formulas. So if you got this wrong because you're like, oh, I forgot the volume of a cylinder, just here you go. There's a chart that gives it all to, all to us. So look for that little button in the top right of your Blue Book app, and you'll get all the formulas you need.